everybody and welcome back. Right. Hello everybody and welcome back. We've made some really, really interesting historical discoveries about this place. So, let me explain them because I'm really excited. So we all know about the tunnels which are hidden underneath this chateau. We all know about the missing wing which was knocked down, the old castle walls up around the bread oven, the gardener's cottage. And if you haven't, here's a small clip. Terrace on the left of this chateau, which you can see in the aerial photos, was originally the other half of the house. Half of this place was knocked down. And we actually got talking to the person that then built the small extension with a staircase on it and what was underneath that staircase when he built the foundations. It really was quite intriguing. It's always interesting to know what's underneath it. That's where this got really exciting. This is a small staircase extension. And I got to talking to the person that built that underneath there, when he was digging out for the foundations, he actually found a hidden spiral stone staircase going down. And that got me really, really intrigued. Underneath that extension is this blocked up air hole. Didn't think much of it. Figured that that was actually just uh, an air hole for the suspended wooden floor underneath and that doesn't need it because it's now fully concreted. But we have another one on the other side of the original entrance, which I showed you all in the original video. Now, if you come down into here, there's actually brick vaulted ceilings. So with loads of the recent questions about history, loads of new people, uh, talking about the chapel, talking about all sorts of things about this place, I did start delving into, rather than the history books, questions about the place locally, because I couldn't really find huge amounts online compared to what I already knew. So a bit of computer research and a bit of questioning some locals, which I now get on with quite well, delve some interesting results. Right, I was really, really happy that we were offered a collaboration with My Heritage, as I tend to try to do something interesting and useful with my spare time and relaxing, so I get to learn. Obviously, I love history. Uh, if you're watching a channel like this, you probably do as well. Uh, and one of the things about history which you never really find out much about is your own family. I mean, certainly, small amounts of it, but there's always so much more to find out. So I was really, really happy that I got an opportunity to try out my heritage and find out a little bit more about my family. It's really easy to add people to your family tree. You just put in some details. It's always asking you for more and it will try to find the people. Hey, you've got some people. Let's go and have a look at the family tree. Here are obviously people that are no longer with us, sadly. There are instant discoveries, which are really helpful, but the best bit is uploading photos. I really, really love this. It's a photo of my grandfather. I get to enhance this photo. It's a very old photo. He was younger than me at the time and I get to colorize it, which is really, really, really cool. One of the things I was really looking forward to is the matches, not just by the site, but by other people. And I got a match. It's with a cousin of mine. I put other people into my family tree because of it. I got to be able to review information that they've got, which I don't. So it's great to discover stuff that I didn't know or couldn't find the information of. This has actually shown me how little, to my detriment, I know about my family history. Um, I've had to ask some family members for more information, and because that helps me search through the sort of over 19 billion documents and records that are on here, which is, I don't know, I'm really excited to be able to put more into this and find more stuff just the limited stuff that I've managed to put in so far, I haven't made any drastic discoveries yet, but I know I'm going to, because there's already the, the instant matches that come up where I've had a couple of instant matches which were quite interesting. It was ping, there you go. It's, you know, these are your family members. So when I get more information on the family tree that I'm building, I know more of those will come up and I'll be able to search more. And to be honest, being able to colorize that photo of my grandfather and actually just enhance it was, um, it was worth it all just for that. So if you are interested in having a little look at the rest of it, there is a 14 
day free trial and the link is in the description below. Take a look and I am really, really glad they came forward for this collaboration because I, it's already something that I'm going to continue with myself. With the castle being here since 1150 or something along those lines, it's a long time ago, put it that way. Um, and obviously this isn't, that's not the original building. This has evolved throughout the years. I always thought the history about this place, if it came up something that was really intriguing, would be older. And certainly given the area we are in France, possibly World War II. And the World War II history is patchy for the building. It was obviously occupied. Uh, so I can only assume it was an R&R &R facility for German officers. As I've said in another video, there was a caretaker that, well, he actually said, he looked at the other driveway and said, oh, by the way, that was the one that Hitler drove up when he stayed. But I actually expect he probably, if it if it's, wasn't just a complete wind-up, was confused with another German officer of high rank um, as... There was, it's in this area, Goebbels and uh, Himmler did actually come to this area, so who knows? But it is the history of after. It is the history of really the 70s. Possibly, yeah, because that's when it was turned into a hotel. So it's always been said that it was run as a hotel. It wasn't a particularly luxurious one, but we have different standards these days, I suppose. As you've seen, the weird little bathrooms in cupboards and uh, the way it was laid out. But that's fine. That's not what I'm judging about. Uh, so I just assumed, based on the fact that it hadn't been done particularly well, and this isn't a massive tourist area, that perhaps it had closed down for that reason. And it isn't that. I was then told that it closed because there wasn't much trade and the oil prices to keep it warm. Uh, and it turns out, the police shut it down. So I've spoken to local people, which has got this information, and actually there's somebody local whose dad, because it was when it was a hotel, it was a restaurant as well, what is now the gym here in this corner, which is the old kitchen, the only room in the house which has got a stone floor, which is why I use it as a gym. Um, that was a dining room. Got a photo of that from an old brochure when it was a hotel and it was also a restaurant and local people used it. There's somebody that's come up to the events, I speak to him every now and then, and he's openly said he remembered coming here as a kid, his, they would have dinner, he would play in the garden and his dad and loads of other people would have a meeting here. And there's, so there must be information about why the police closed it. Um, who knows? It's always interesting. So I guess this is an appeal for local information as opposed to stuff that's in the books, history books, because it's much more recent and it's obviously more rumour than fact. So I'd love to hear it to be able to then delve into the actual facts of it. So if anyone does know the information behind that, anything more about when this was a hotel, about what went on, about what happened afterwards, I would love to hear it. So if anyone does know, please do send me a message, an email, it's all in the description, and I would love to hear that information. And if anyone does want to try out that link and find out a bit more of their own history, it is in the description below. So thank you all, I'll see you next time. Hopefully you can get in touch with that information and we can work out the past, the more recent past, together. See you next time.